Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 161, Parting Chapter 161, Parting After leaping out from the mountain cave, Xiaoyana Euro trademark S gaze swept around the valley. At the moment, the lamp within the small straw house was still lit. Outside the straw house, a gentle and beautiful figure who was wearing a white dress was seated on a small chair. Leaning against the door and borrowing the light from the fire behind her, the figuria Euro trademark S head was lowered, engrossed in the seven-colored scroll in her hand. Appearing to have heard the sound of footsteps a short distance away, the fairy doctor knitted her eyebrows together and removed her gaze from the scroll. She watched the young man slowly walk over under the moonlight and could not help but smile, A Euro Ahavi you succeeded in your training? There a Euro trademark s still some warm food in the house A Euro. Hearing this warm and soft voice, Xiaoyana Euro trademark s heart was a little moved. These words and this scenery made the fairy doctor seem like a young wife that had waited for her husband to return after a long day. The soft and gentle voice contained concern and expectation. The expression on his face grew increasingly gentle as Xiao Yan approached. He sat beside the fairy doctor, glanced at the seven-colored poison book in her hand and swept his gaze across her pretty face. A moment later, he appeared to have discovered something and frowned. With a helpless and gentle sigh, he extended his hand and rubbed off a little black powder that was difficult to discover from the side of the fairy doctor a Euro trademark s moist small red mouth. He smiled bitterly and shook his head. Looking at the fairy doctor a Euro trademark s appearance, it was obvious that she had consumed poison during the time he was training Ga Euro. Eyeing Xiaoyan a Euro trademark s action, the fairy doctor a Euro trademark s pretty face was first flushed. Soon after, she noticed the little bit of black powder on Xiaoyana Euro trademark s hand and immediately turned her eyes away in a cowardly manner. After a while, she hurriedly took out a white-colored kerchief and carefully wiped off all the black powder on Xiaoyana Euro trademark s finger. A Euro e a Euro I may have to go tomorrow a Euro Xiaoyan suddenly said as he watched the fairy doctor wipe off the poison powder. The hand that was rubbing stilled for a short while. A moment later, the gentleness returned to the fairy doctor as she slightly nodded. In a soft voice, she said, A Euro or after stopping here for such a long time, it should be time to leave A Euro. A Euro or after leaving here, where do you plan to go? A Euro the silent atmosphere persisted for a while before it was broken by Xiaoyana Euro trademark S question. A Euro oh, I think that maybe I will go to Chu Yun Empire and take a look there after leaving the Jiuma Empire. Then I will roam around the Dochi continent A Euro the fairy doctor said with a forceful smile. A Euro or Chu Yun Empire A Euro A Euro. Xiao Yan whispered in his heart and once again laughed bitterly. Even though he had never been to that empire, he had heard some information about the Chu Yun Empire. Within that empire, the number of poison masters exceeded any other empire. A Euro oh, I will go to the Taker Desert to train. That place is in the east of the Jiuma Empire border while Chu Yun Empire is located to the west of the Jiuma Empire. Therefore, after we leave tomorrow, we will have to part ways A Euro Xiao Yan said as he rubbed his forehead and raised his head to stare at the stars. A Euro Rio dot A Euro the fairy doctor nodded her head slightly, obviously in low spirits. She said softly, A Euro oh, I hope you will take care of yourself. After we part ways tomorrows, I don't a Euro trademark T know when we will see each other again. Perhaps, in the future, I may never return a Euro ah but that is not certain. If I managed to reach the stage where everyone is furious and scared of may a Euro haha, I will return to this small valley and await for the end of this woeful poison body a Euro. Facing the fairy doctor a Euro trademark s somewhat despondent smooth face, Xiao Yan parted his mouth slightly, wanting to say something. However, no words came out. After all, according to Yao Lao, the lady who possessed the A Euro woeful poison body A Euro trademark back then had done such shocking and disastrous things. After being silent for a long while, Xiao Yan could only lightly pat her shoulders and comfort her by saying A Euro or that one A Euro trademark T happen. 
A mature woeful poison body is indeed scary but as long as you can control yourself and don't a euro trademark t kill hundreds of thousands of people in a moment of anger, there should be anyone who would foolishly come and provoke you a euro. The fairy doctor laughed bitterly and shook her head slightly. However, she remained quiet. She did not inform Xiao Yan that once the a euro woeful poison body a euro trademark matures, the poison accumulated in the body would occasionally cause the owner to go insane. When she was in that kind of state, the fairy doctor did not dare guarantee that she would not do any terrifying things. Gently shaking her head, the fairy doctor thought quietly for a while before she suddenly stood up and walked into the straw house under Xiao Yan a euro trademark s puzzled gaze. A moment later, she carefully took out a meticulously packaged sachet and a small jade bottle. A euro earth thing in here is known as a euro falling soul powder a euro trademark. Its name may be a little frightening, but it is not purely a poison. This is something that I found in the seven colored poison book and is the highest grade medicinal powder that I am currently able to make a euro shaking the sachet, the fairy doctor smiled and said. A euro e this a euro falling soul powder a euro trademark emits a smell that irritates the eyes. Moreover, I have also added some special things in it. If you meet any strong person whom you cannot handle in the future, you can scatter it on the other party. If he or she is caught off guard, even if the other person is a dadoshi, the piercing smell released by it would cause them to temporarily close their eyes. During this time, there would be an opportunity to flee a euro. Curiously receiving the sachet, Xiao Yan had intended to open it when the fairy doctor hurriedly stopped him. At the same time, she handed over the jade bottle in her hand and said angrily, A euro Ethi's poison does not differentiate between the enemy and the user. When you use it, it would be best to consume the antidote that I have created. Otherwise, your sense of sight would also be temporarily sealed, turning you into a blind person for a while a euro. Embarrassingly withdrawing his hand, Xiao Yan carefully kept both things. In the future, he might really have to use them. After handing the things to Xiao Yan, the fairy doctor took out another jade bottle, threw it towards Xiao Yan and said, A Euro Atager Desert is the territory of the Medusa snake people. They are experts in using snake poison. This is an antidote pill that I have created. It may not be able to completely resist snake poison but it can smoothly dispel the snake poison of weaker snake people a euro. Fondling the jade bottle that was still carrying a little warmth, Xiao Yan smiled faintly. Although this antidote pill was not really useful to an alchemist like him, the fairy doctor a euro trademark s thought caused him to be a little touched. A euro all right, these are all the things I have. I a euro trademark v e given you everything so don't a euro trademark t try to exploit me a euro waving her hand, the fairy doctor naughtily said to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He reached his hand and rubbed it on the ring and a small jade bottle appeared in his palm. The jade bottle contained seven a euro energy recovery pills a euro trademark, which were left over from his training. Raising the jade bottle in his hand, Xiao Yan waved at the fairy doctor and smiled. A euro e I think you have not seen a real medicinal pill in Qing Shan town, have you, a euro? Hearing this, the fairy doctor a euro trademark s vivid eyes brightened slightly. She stared intently at the jade bottle in Xiao Yan a euro trademark s hand and asked in a shocked voice, a euro or other a euro trademark s medicinal pills in it, a euro? A euro a, yes. Eat a euro trademark s you're now a euro Xiao Yan nodded with a smile and threw it to the fairy doctor. The latter quickly and carefully caught it. A euro eat a little more careful. What if you break it? A euro e after catching the small jade bottle, the fairy doctor angrily gave Xiao Yan a disdainful look. After which, she quickly opened the bottle and poured out a somewhat dark green round and sleek pill. Putting it under her pretty nose and sniffing it the fresh medicinal fragrance caused the fairy doctor to both be intoxicated and sad. This kind of smell was something that she had chased after for many years. Unfortunately, she was only able to smell the shady scent of poison. A euro is this a medicinal pill? Indeed, 
the medicine that I make by using a normal flame to mix the medicinal ingredients together cannot be compared with it a euro seeing the round and sleek surface as well as its luster, the fairy doctor sighed and helplessly said. A euro all right. It is not my intention to dishearten you by giving you the medicinal pill. The name of the medicinal pill is a euro energy recovery pill a euro trademark. It can swiftly recover the expended dochi in your body. With the help of the A Euro Energy Recovery Pill A Euro trademark, during a fight with others, you can save quite a bit of strength A Euro seeing the fairy doctor A Euro trademark s self-pitying manner, Xiao Yan shook his head as he said. A Euro no wonder you were able to last so long during your battle with Mushi. It was because of this treasure A Euro the fairy doctor said with a smile as she bluntly kept the jade bottle. Xiao Yan smiled but did not start an argument over this issue. He leaned against the door and quietly raised his head to stare at the star-filled sky. Being infected by the quiet atmosphere, the fairy doctor had also become quiet. Her arm wrapped around her long pair of legs and her vivid eyes stealthily blinked with the stars in the sky. Under the enchanting moonlight, a man and a woman quietly watched the night sky until the moon in the sky slowly dimmed. The sleepy pair cuddled together and leaned against the door frame as they gradually fell into a deep sleep. When Xiao Yan slowly woke up from his sleep the next morning, he found himself unknowingly lying on the bed. Tilting his head, he swept it across the empty room. He shook his head, expelling the sleepiness from his mind and sat up before walking out of the small house. Once he was out of the house, Xiao Yan discovered that Blue Eagle was slowly floating in the sky of the small valley. Eta Euro trademark s loud and clear eagle cry continued to resound as though the blue eagle was announcing that it was leaving this place today. A Euro or ear you awake, A Euro just as Xiao Yan was about to look around expectantly, a clear female voice suddenly sounded from his left side. Turning his head around, Xiao Yan eyed the fairy doctor who was carrying a full basket of medicinal ingredients and could not help but shake his head. He reached his hand into his pocket and took out a storage ring he obtained from his Wutan city. He took two steps forward, grabbed the fairy doctor a Euro trademark s hand and put it on her. With a smile, he said, a Euro I consider this a parting gift. With it, it should be convenient for you to store your medicinal ingredients a Euro. Playing with the storage ring on her hand, the fairy doctor smiled. Although she knew that this thing was somewhat expensive, she did not reject it. She carefully placed the medicinal ingredients one at a time into the storage ring before placing the seven-colored poison book and other things into it. Raising her head, she spoke to Xiao Yan in a faint, gentle voice, A Euro or Ear and A Euro trademark tea you going to prepare some medicinal ingredients? After you leave this place, it is going to be difficult to find such a good place A Euro. A Euro e ha ha. I prepared what I needed two days ago a Euro Xiao Yan proudly waved his hand and smiled. The fairy doctor a Euro trademark s pretty eyes stared at Xiao Yan a Euro trademark s brilliant smile and raised her nose. With a sigh, she placed the bamboo whistle beside her small moist red mouth and gently blew, releasing a faint sound that reached the sky. Hearing this sound, the blue eagle in the sky immediately circled downwards. It flapped its wings putting such pressure on the plants that they were forced to creep on the ground. A Euro L at a Euro trademark s go. This is the final time we Euro trademark LL ride together a Euro the fairy doctor said with a smile as she took a step forward and gracefully placed her gentle pretty body on Xiao Yan. Nodding his head with a smile, Xiao Yan extended his arm and held her extremely fragile looking willow waist. He pushed off the ground lifting their bodies up from the ground and finally, firmly, and steadily landed on the back of the blue eagle. Standing on the back of the eagle, Xiao Yan watched the shrinking straw house in the valley and sighed gently. He mumbled, A Euro e goodbye, A Euro.